So now that we have the fade in and fade out functionality working, essentially what that is is when I hit the fade in, audio fades in, when I hit fade out, it fades out. The problem is you'll notice that the audio, that it, it faded out, but it's still playing in the background. And so what I'm going to show you how to do is to essentially hit this stop button like this to bring to stop that audio but we're going to do that by using a MIDI function so how we do that is we'll set up a MIDI track by hitting command shift T we'll rename this to stop clips and we're going to use an IAC driver so that's just the max internal MIDI router and so typically when you go to audio MIDI setup it'll look like this so you just need to go to window show MIDI studio and make sure the IAC driver is turned on device is online and you can name this whatever you want to name it but for now we'll keep it to bus one and then you come back in here to Ableton and say MIDI 2 IAC driver bus one and if you start setting up a bunch, bunch of functionalities like this, you're going to want to change these to different channels. But for now, we'll just keep this one on channel 1. Then all you do is create a MIDI clip by double-clicking into one of these slots. And for now, we'll just use the MIDI note C1. So you just double-click to write that in. And we'll set this to loop for now. And so what this is going to do is this MIDI note, when it's triggered, is going to stop. It's going to hit this stop button. So I don't want it to do this one, so I'm going to remove this stop button. I'll show you why here in a second. I'm going to have it control this stop button. So all you do is hit play on this clip, let it loop and then click this clip and then hit command M and it'll map it and then command M and get out of there did the wrong one so we'll maybe map this one there we go Okay, now we'll set up our scene to where the fade in is on scene one, fade out scene two, and we'll bring this stop clips function to scene two. And what I want this to do is I want this to hit this note after the fade out, so after the two measure fade out. So we'll change this, we'll turn loop off, change this endpoint to four. get rid of this note and then at measure three we're gonna have it hit that C1 and the reason I removed this stop clip because this if I were to launch this next scene and it had this stop button in there it would just stop this clip it wouldn't fade out or anything so we remove that stop button and then this is going to trigger this this, this note will trigger this to stop this. So we'll launch scene one, we'll fade in, we'll fade out, and that hit that stop button to stop this. So there you go. If you have any questions, feel free to comment, let me know.